This is for lesson three, four from the lesson book. And so we continue on with equations of linear uh, equations and looking at the lines. In this case, we're going to look at tables and graphs now. In the last case, we were kind of calculating slope from tables, but we want to look at these equations. And so we remind you of um, what the formula was for slope right here and then how we can calculate it, which is where we left off calculating the slope between two lines which is really again the rate of change how are the values changing you have our general equation here y equals mx plus b and so in situations like this here for example find the equation of a line passing through two points in order to find the equation of a line we need one the slope and we need to know what the y-intercept is so we have an algebraic technique to do that after you find the slope you substitute your slope into the equation your general equation and then notice there's still three variables now. So when you're, we're going to substitute one of these, it could be either point, into this equation and solve for the y-intercept. And when you do that, you get it, right? In this case, you get 4. And then now you have this new equation there, y equals 1 half x plus 4, which would be the equation of the line that goes through those two points. Again, this is just numbers. There's no context, which we'll look at in a little bit. So there's a process to find the equation of the line, like we said. Once you have this equation, once we put it to a context, though, the, um, that is where the finding the slope is a little bit more meaningful. And so here's an example from the last lesson where we had uh, someone was trying to lose weight. We had the, some data points on their weight after a certain amount of time. And then we could go ahead and find the model that represents their weight loss. And to first do that, you need to know what the slope is. And so we substitute those values in to find the slope. After you have the slope, you substitute in one of your points. For example, I took this one here and put it into the general equation of solve for B. And when you do your algebra here, you end up with um, 194.24, so you end up with a linear equation. So now what we're doing is using algebra to find these, what we call linear equations or models for these situations. So that's what we're looking at.